Margaret Chase Smith, a trailblazer in American politics. Margaret Chase Smith, born on December 14, 1897, in Scohegan, Maine, was a pioneering American politician whose determination and courage reshaped the political landscape. Raised in a modest working-class family, she began her career as a teacher and later worked as a businesswoman, taking on roles such as a telephone operator and newspaper circulation manager. These early experiences honed her skills in communication and leadership, setting the stage for her remarkable journey. In 1940, her life took a dramatic turn when her husband, U.S. Representative Clyde Harold Smith, passed away. Margaret stepped into the spotlight, winning a special election to fill his seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. She served four terms, advocating for national defense and women's rights with steadfast resolve. In 1948, she achieved a historic milestone by winning election to the U.S. Senate, becoming the first woman to serve in both chambers of Congress. Her independence and willingness to challenge party lines defined her tenure. Smith's courage shone brightest in 1950, during the dark days of McCarthyism, when Senator Joseph McCarthy's baseless accusations fueled national fear. In her iconic Declaration of Conscience speech, she stood on the Senate floor and boldly condemned his tactics, declaring, I speak as a Republican. I speak as a woman. I speak as a United States Senator. I speak as an American. This powerful call for integrity and fairness earned her widespread admiration and cemented her legacy. In 1964, Smith shattered another glass ceiling by becoming the first woman to seek the Republican Party's presidential nomination. Though she lost to Barry Goldwater, her candidacy at a major party convention was groundbreaking, inspiring countless women to pursue political dreams. After 24 years in the Senate, she retired in 1973. Margaret Chase Smith passed away in 1995 at age 97, leaving behind a legacy of trailblazing achievements and unwavering principle that continues to echo in American politics today.